So you're thinking about a new gun, you're thinking about something, you know, not necessarily mid-range, but you want to get something affordable, you want something good, and you think to yourself, oh, how about the EMAC? Well, the EMAC is quite good. Uh, what could possibly make it better? Well, let me tell you. Uh, how about a feed system, which is fed by the gun, and is completely battery-free, extremely lightweight, durable, affordable, and is really cool to boot, and it's made by the manufacturer. That's a lot of good. Not a lot of bad. I can't think of anything bad. This is the PAL from Planet Eclipse. It's even aerodynamic. Look at it. You're going to cut through the wind like crazy. There'll be no resistance at all. Look at it. Just right over there. Stop rambling. Get back to the task at hand. What you have here, this is the EMEC 100. And uh, you might notice the feed neck looks a little bit different. That's because it's got this added plunger, we'll call it, which is resting right in here. Don't know if you can see that. I hope you do. It's right there, that little button looking thing. And what that does is that's a rod. It, that's not what it does as a rod. It, what it is is a rod. And it goes down here and into the breech. So when you cycle the marker, and the bolt comes forward, it actually pops that up. And it sticks out uh, about that far. And what that does is it makes contact with this little blue button right here. Now this blue button is actually the bottom, it's like a stem for the bottom of the tray here inside your new PAL. This is your PAL, just like me. And therefore it makes it agitate. So you have a battery free marker agitated, shall we say, uh, loader system that will actually continuously feed balls as you shoot the marker. And on a mechanical marker, you don't need to worry about outrunning it because you're not gonna be shooting crazy fast anyways. This will guarantee a shot every single time. The other cool thing about this is it's not proprietary or not dedicated exclusively to the EMAC 100. This will work on any marker. However, you won't get the agitation factor of it. What you do get, however, is the shelf that's in here. So what the shelf does is it takes away the uh, gravity option of, uh, not the gravity option, but the gravity factor of the paintballs coming down and jamming into the, into the feed neck. So rather than coming down and in this way, they're only coming this way. They roll off the shelf, on the bottom of the hopper, and then they roll down through the feed neck, making it a much smoother shot. This will work and benefit you on any, on any marker. It will reach its full potential on the EMEC 100, which is this nifty little unit right here, which has been outfitted with a push button safety, which is a very nice feature because they're pretty cool. Another really neat feature about the hopper is the lid. It is a super flexible material, okay? There are no springs in here. So you don't need to worry about that getting lost. It's self-closing because it's it's a really flexible and springy uh, neck here. But what's also awesome is it's really, really squishy, flexible. What this will prevent is if you're in the middle of a game and you reload and, oh rats, I gotta go play. And your hopper doesn't necessarily, even though it kind of just closes on its own anyways, and you happen to not get your lid closed, if it gets shot or if you bang it on something, it's not gonna break it's gonna just bend and flex, all right? It's extremely flexible, flexible like my bank account. Now, if you have questions about the new feed neck, not to worry, it operates exactly like your traditional Planet Eclipse feed neck. Uh, you have your lever lock here and the two bolts uh, mounting it on, uh, long on top, short on the bottom, not that that really matters. So, open the lever, hopper goes in, and close your lever. Just like that, and she's on. So you have lots of uh, lots of viewing area when you're looking down the uh, down the barrel at uh, all the people you're going to shoot, because you know you're going to have a ball in the chamber every time, so long as you have paint up here. So we owe a big thanks to Planet Eclipse for this, because this is the hopper we need and deserve. This will be great for rentals, for first timers, for second timers, new mechanicals, the first octane shocker off the line, coworkers. Your car! <laughs> this hopper is actually something that will probably find its way onto my guns as well. Uh, I run old mechanicals as well as old pumps. This is a fantastic all-around innovation that we, uh, that we sorely needed. Keep an eye on our website for these. Follow us on Facebook for a heads up as to when we will be getting these in stock, when you can pick yours up. As always, this is Mason from Badlands and I'll see you out there.